Hey guys, we have a question from Orlando. He's asking how to have multiple accounts on Periscope. He's saying that how, I, how are you able to have all different accounts when you are signing out and signing back on Periscope? And what he is talking about is this. Let me show you here on my phone right now. When I click on login with Twitter, you see that we have all my accounts here listed and all I need to do is click on one of the accounts to log in. So he's asking how to do that and I'll tell you the secret right now. First, you need to install the Twitter app on your phone. If you already have the Twitter app, that's great. You are seeing here my Diego Davila TV account, which is my main account for you guys, for all my students in Udemy. Uh, and here, when you are in your profile, all you need to do is click on this link, on this icon here, we have the two, uh, two guys here. And here you see all my accounts. At the bottom, you can see more options. In the beginning, you will have only one account here. So if you click on more options, you have the option to create new account or add an existing account. And that's the secret, Orlando. So if you click on add existing account, you see that, uh, you see that Twitter is asking me for my username and password. So basically I enter here my other username and password for my other accounts. And at the end, I have all my accounts listed here, as you can see right now on the screen. So when you have all this here, the, you go back to Periscope and Periscope will automatically find all the accounts you have on Twitter. So that's why when I click on login with Twitter, you see all my accounts and I choose here Diego Davila TV. I, uh, I ask you to follow me on Periscope, Diego Davila TV. I always do Periscope, helping people to succeed in the business and succeed in life. Um, also, thank you very much, Orlando. If you have any questions, if you guys that are watching have any questions about Periscope, about anything else related with the course, please go to the main course area here and you can add a new discussion. And the way you add a discussion is just clicking on here, add discussion, and in here you can type your, your question. And I'm very happy to receive your question. I always try to record a video like this for you, for all the people that send me questions, and I hope to see your question next here on the training, okay? Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to have you as my student and see you in the next video.